libraries let you organize data that isn't quite alike. The default libraries are created to work with data that is alike. The documents library holds documents, the music library holds music, and so on. You can create your own library to hold files that are related to the library itself, in this case web design project. To create your own library, the easiest way to get started is to open File Explorer, click the View tab, click Navigation Pane, and click Show Libraries. Now we have libraries down here in the left side, Navigation Pane. If you right click Libraries, you can click New and then Library, and you can name it. I'm going to name it travel. Now I can put all my travel related data here and I don't have to you know put it in some in documents, some in pictures, some in videos. I'm going to go ahead and right click that and click properties and by default I don't have any folders in there right now so I'm going to add some folders. Maybe I'll create a new folder here called Trav Docs, and I'll add that folder. Maybe I'll create another folder here called Trav Language Files, and I'll include that folder. I could continue in this way, and then click OK. Now I have a new library, and notice list listed over here too. And I have my available files, docs, and language files. It also shows here when I click libraries in the left pane. Now it used to be that these libraries, documents, included what was in the documents folder and the public documents folder. In Windows 8 that doesn't happen anymore. It does include SkyDrive though, it can. Music can include other files as well, audiobooks, and pictures will hold folders you've created. And again, travel, we have our new travel library here.